Yeah, good day, guys. Um, today we'll be classifying exocrine glands. Okay, classification of exocrine glands. And that's on uh, apocrine, merocrine, and holocrine. I think so. All right, so we'll be classifying exocrine glands. Okay, and this is based on the manner in which their secreted products are distributed. Okay, so the question is classify exocrine glands based on the manner in which their secreted products are distributed. Okay, so exocrine glands secrete their substances through ducts onto your body's surfaces. Okay, now on the other hand, endocrine glands secrete their substances directly into your body stream. Exocrine is out to the body surface, endocrine is to the body stream, uh, the bloodstream. Okay, so exocrine glands are called what? Duct legs glands. Okay. So endocrine glands are part of your endocrine system and they secrete hormones. But in this lecture, we'll be talking specifically on the exocrine glands. Okay. So um, this is an example of an endocrine gland. Okay. An example of an exocrine gland. And you could see that the exocrine glands and the secretion is outward. Okay. And you could see what the sweat gland. Okay. So in this lecture, guys, we'll be focusing on the exocrine glands. All right. So based on the manner in which exocrine glands secrete and um, elaborate their secretions, we have the merocrine glands. Exocrine glands are subdivided into the merocrine glands. So the merocrine glands are type of exocrine glands that secrete their products via what exocytosis. Okay, so exocytosis is a process that allows the product to be released. Okay without losing the membrane of the secretory cells now merocrine glands include what the cerebral gland and the pancreatic glands and most of the sweat glands okay so i would like you guys to just um, note this merocrine glands okay examples of them is the cerebral gland and the sweat glands and what is the uh, uh, the striking feature of these merocrine glands is because um, it allows product to be released, okay, without losing the membrane of the secretory cells, okay. It allows the products to be released without losing the membrane of the secretory cells, okay. And um, next we'll be going to the apocrine glands. We said that um, apocrine glands are type of sweat glands that secrete a viscous and oily substance into the air follicle, okay. So they are found in the skin of the axilla, the areola, the nipples, the perianal skin, and the skin of the external genitals. Okay, that's the apocrine glands. Okay, so they are usually uh, they usually become active at puberty. Okay, now the secretion of apocrine glands is what odorless, but when it reaches the skin surface, it is broken down by bacteria. Okay, therefore producing an acrid odor. Now, apocrine glands are type of exocrine glands which release secretions by mechanism called what apocrine secretions. Okay, so this is an example of an apocrine gland. Okay, um, where they are secreting um, oily substances to hair, to hair follicles. Okay, so these oily substances are actually odorless, but when they get to the skin surface, they are broken down by bacteria, and that's when um they start bringing out know, the order okay so now we have the holocrine sorry this is not a this is this is o okay so now we have the holocrine okay so the holocrine now uh, this is a term used to classify the mode of secretion in exocrine okay in exocrine glands okay in the study of histology so holocrine secretions are produced in the cytoplasm of the cell and are released by the rupture of the plasma membrane okay and you know definitely when the plasma membrane ruptures the cell will be destroyed okay so which destroy the cell and results in the secretion of the product into the lumen okay so um this whole look this substance is actually formed in the cell cytoplasm they move out of the cell and they come out through the ruptures in the cell uh, plasma membrane okay so this destroys the cell and um like set up the secretion into the lumen okay 
So guys, um, I think um, we spoke about the holocrine. This is a holocrine. I could see that this secretion comes out through um, disintegrating the cell and releasing its content, okay? So the holocrine glands will disintegrate the cell beforewards releasing the content out, okay? So with these guys, um, we have come to the end of our tutorial and we saw the, uh, the various classifications of endocrine glands, okay, which include merocline, apocrine, and um, holocrine, okay? And we saw the different mechanisms of of um, release of secretions in each of these um, types of exocrine glands, okay? So I'd like to cut it off and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.